Energy vibration reading for the Sagittarian Sun, Moon, and Rising. Hello, it is a good month for you, Sagittarian Smenson, because you have a victory and success. You have the energy of uh, in this month is the energy of the the chariot. Energy of the chariots is a lot of traveling. A lot of um, people are going to be moving. A lot of people are going to be um, consider um, um, relocation and that sort of a thing. It is good because this month has four weeks. In these four weeks, you can to have in the two first week positive energy. Second, the third week, you're going to be thinking, "Is this what I want?" The fourth week, the wheel of fortune is going to bring you a lot of success. Okay, so we have the energy of the magician that is going to be helping you. So the energy of the magician is going to bring you a lot of luck, but it's going to bring you magical solution to situation that you have been dealing with. Money is not going to be a problem. So your emotion is going to be balanced and the energy of work is going to be there and that sort of a thing so let's go and look at what is going to be transpiring for the weeks that are coming up for you guys so in the first week you have the energy of the devil okay energy of the devil can be good the energy of the devil and the magician can be good um it can be your ego but um don't use your ego but the energy of the it can be that you are physically attracted to someone and there is a strong chemical um connection between you two in the first week second week we have the energy of the ace of pentacles coming in in the second week so this is um very very good so money um, your financial um, stability is going to be much better in the third week you have the energy of uh, the Knight of cups you have the energy of the Knight of cups in the third week whoever this person is they are coming in and that could be the person that you are having this um, sexual chemistry with that is a person that um, you could be connecting with and having the sexual chemistry with and the last and fourth week you have the energy of the Empress so this is good your financial situation is going to be good energy of the Empress is here the energy of the devil is helping you with your financial situation or it is helping you to build a better financial situation in your life okay I love this energy because the wheel of fortune and the Empress is that if you need um, financial security it is going to be happening okay um, the uh, wheel of fortune is as if what was taken away from you will be returned okay let's see what is happening with the devil in the first week and the second week you have the king of swords in the reverse so let's say that someone who is an um, Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra had you had a situation with this person in the first and second week this energy um, of this person is now over the second week going into the third week we have the king of cups so um, this is going to be good a lot of you are going to be having situation that you have to deal with the king of cups or the knight of cups which is uh, an older person a p older Pisces cancer scorpion or a younger person uh, a Pisces cancer scorpion so let's see what is happening with the knight of cups and the Empress the energy of the world an ending and a new beginning is coming for both of you so this could be um, a someone um, whatever the energy of the world comes out is, is a fabulous fabulous because you guys are the second one to have the energy of the world and you're a fire sign okay the second week is your energy vibration this for you um, Sagittarians the second week uh, in the general energy is your energy vibration the second week the second week a lot of money is going to be coming into you um, the energy of the night um, what this is saying is that there is someone who is younger than you are it could be your son or it could be your daughter and whatever is happening is that they are ending a situation that has been happening and a new beginning is coming in let's see what is happening with the king of swords and the king of cups there is going to be a victorious successful outcome um, um, 
whatever situation you're dealing with with the 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 king of swords and um, this king of swords is going to be in the opposite direction which meaning that he's going to actually be out of your life okay because for um, the Gemini's the Gemini's had also um, an energy where they had to apologize to you because of something that they have done and create a situation in your life they have done something that has created a situation in your life and they're coming in in the first and second week to say sorry to you okay let's see what is happening with the world and the king of cups there is going to be some conflicts the world and the king of cups there is going to be some conflicts okay there so there is a celebration but yet still you are going to be having conflicts with the king of cups so there's going to be an ending coming in for um, this conflicts okay let's see what is going to be the outcomes for April for um, these Sagittarians what is going to be the outcomes you're going to have a victory and successful outcomes in the month of April so thank the universe for this so whatever the conflicts was whatever that was happening um, whatever situation that has transpired in your life um, you're gonna have a victorious outcomes at the end of April so let's look at your month of April so in the month of April you enter the month with an ego base of uh, there is a physical attraction with someone or there was a situation that you had to deal with with the Knight of Swords which is an Aquarius a Gemini or Libra you're gonna be the very successful and victorious over this outcome because you're having a celebration and then you have the energy of the ace of swords which is a victory and success after a very um, you know hard time as we move forward and we're looking we have the energy of conflicts whatever the conflicts was or that was transpiring this conflicts is going to be ending okay this conflicts is going to be ending and um, the energy of the world is coming out so there is a lot of uh, um, like a lot of successful outcomes that is going to happen and the successful outcomes is going to bring you financial stability but the Empress you're coming out with the energy of the Empress okay um, it's as if you're taking on the energy of the Empress and coming out in a positive way as you look at the center of the month you have the energy of the ace of Pentacles the king of cups and the knight of cups so whatever is transpiring is as if some of you are going to be connecting with the king of cups or knight of cups and it's as if you're going to make money okay you're going to really really make money because money is coming to you the other situation is that you are going to be celebrating the end of a conflict so you're going to be celebrating the end of a conflict and you are going to be very very uh, successful you're going to be celebrating the end of a conflict and you're going to be extremely successful in this so as we look at the ending of the month whatever that has transpired with and for some of you it is um, your son or your daughter that is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion um, that is going to be ending in a successful way and there is going to be a positive positive new start that is going to be coming up energy of the world at the end of the month with the Empress is as if you are going to be making things happening for yourself we are now going to move on and we're going to look at the energies for the ladies over the age of 40. So let's look at the energies for the ladies over the age of 40 in their career section. This is going to be good because you're going to be working hard. Okay, it is a month where you are going to be working hard. So work is going to be on the FOMAS. This is going to be good. You're going to be. Um, happy with what you're doing and you're going to be feeling connected let's see what's happening for the um, the men over the age of 40 in work listen to your intuition listen to your intuition some of you are going to be connecting um, um, with a, a woman in work with, but listen to your intuition um, in this situation then as we look at the energies for the people 18 until 25 in work let's see what is going to be happening to you guys you have a strong foundation 
okay so if you're between the ages of 18 and 25 in work you have a strong foundation which is saying that this you know you're in the right place at the right time this what you're doing this is what you're supposed to be doing a lot of help a lot of situation a lot of positive situations is going to be coming out for you guys now we're going to look at love for the ladies over 40 love for the ladies over 40 new love affairs are going to be coming in so if you are over the age of 40 expect to meet someone new okay a new love affair a new connection is going to be coming in for you for the men over 40 let's see what is happening in love um, there is going to be a lot of it's your focus is going to be on work um, some of you could be connecting or some of you your focus is going to be on work some of you are going to be meeting someone who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion at work but you're gonna be more focusing on work because you're not someone who's going to you're more, more focusing on work it's not love for you um, men over 40 is not going to be there it's all about work for you guys in um, the month of April as we look at love for the people 18 until 25 there's going to be a lot of conflicts in your relationship a lot of conflicts in your relationship whatever is happening for you people 18 um, between the ages of 18 and 25 there's going to be a lot of conflicts in your relationship some of you are going to decide to leave a relationship behind okay there we go with the love and career now we are going to be looking at the zodiac aspect of your um, the zodiac energies who um, is coming in to work with you guys um, for the Sun people those are the people who were born in the day that is from 12 a.m. midnight until 6 p.m. in the afternoon and I have to put my glasses on you are going to be have to be dealing with the Virgos and the Empress is here so the Empress can bring that Virgo energy in um, uh, yeah the Empress is here so this Empress can bring the Virgo energies in uh, you people are going to be working with a lot of people okay the number three energy and the number one energy new beginning success is going to be happening for you guys new beginning but successful um, new beginnings and then um, the Sun people have mercury mercury with the, the Virgos is that you are going to be working with the psychic energy what is coming in with the psychic energy that is coming in let's look at the situation with the moon people what is happening for the moon people you have the Sagittarians um, this is yourself coming up which is very 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 good um, for you people who were born in the night your own energy is coming up you're standing you have the energy of the Empress oh my god I just saw it and then you have the energy of the Taurus that the Taurus could be um, the energy of the Empress because the Taurus the Empress carry the energy of the Taurus and the Capricorn I am seeing something here which I apologize for and I know I'm going to get oh but you said it was the king of cups but it was actually the Emperor okay so let me clarify you Sagittarius because I know you guys you guys are going to be a very 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 successful in this month of April you're going to be very successful okay success is going to be coming at you a lot of you are going to make a lot of promotions um, a lot of you are going to have success a lot of success in work is coming in um, you are going to be building a strong foundation in your life and a lot of success in work is coming in and this is why you have um, a, a, a celebration and the conflict that has been going on around you is now coming to an end success is the name of the game success is the name of the game for you guys in this month so success is the name of the game for you guys in this month so 
um, you know you guys are going to be um, very very successful so success is the name of the game for you guys in this month So, um, success is the name of the game. Okay, so whatever is happening, expect um, huge success. Okay. Expect huge success um, coming in in this month. So I'm writing it down so I you know I can name your video I expect a huge success coming in this month for you guys okay so you're working with um, the, the the night people the people who are born in the night after 6 p.m. so um, in the evening you are going to be working with the Sagittarians and the Taurus together Sagittarians and Taurus are good um, you guys are good business partner you guys can be in a good relationship so we're moving forward to your money situation and you have dreams of abundance See, as you sleep your um, the source creator and your angels and your higher self are giving you divine guidance and ideas answers and solution to problems be sure to record your dream in a journal because they contain valuable information and insights that will help you to manifest your desire reality so isn't this wonderful so in the month of April a lot of you your angels and guides are going to connect um, with you via your dream times to give you answers and solution to all your situations remember to write your dreams down it is a uh, very important to do this okay we're moving forward to the last energies of what is happening for you guys and it's wonderful it says and this is the message from the universe as your back it says thank you universe for helping me see beyond the limitations of fear thank you for expanding my perception so that I can see what is of the highest good isn't this wonderful I love the, this deck the universe of your back because what it is saying is that thank the universe for helping you to see beyond the limitations of fear so ask the universe to let go of your fear in this way thank you for expanding um, your perception so that you can see what it is the highest good in your life so this is a wonderful wonderful message for you Sagittarians I want to say to you guys thank you for being here please like share these videos share these videos um, thumbs up like and share and um, say namaste until next time